You're watching Football Daily and here's this week's biggest transfer news and headlines. Some deals have of course already been done, but there will be many more in the coming months. As always, tweet me at Zach Jellop or the Football Daily account with the hashtag TransferTalk to get involved. David De Gea's credentials are being questioned more than ever. The Spanish stopper, who is nearing the end of his ninth season with the Red Devils, has made a number of errors in the last 18 months. And with Dean Henderson impressing on loan at Sheffield United in that time, there is talk of the young English keeper usurping De Gea at Old Trafford. But according to the Manchester Evening News, Chelsea are preparing to lure him to Stamford Bridge with Frank Lampard apparently keen to use him as a replacement for Kepa Arizabalaga. The Blues are allegedly prepared to pay the young stopper £170,000 a week, with his current wages understood to be around the £70,000 mark, with reports suggesting they have already made contact with Henderson's representatives. This is a worrying development for United, with Henderson having previously stated he could look for a move elsewhere if he isn't guaranteed a starting spot in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's team. With the 23-year-old returning to Old Trafford at the end of the season, the United manager has a task on his hands. If he can't satisfy Henderson's demands, he risks losing him to a direct rival which has already strengthened considerably this summer. But what would you do if you were the young keeper? Stay at United and fight De Gea for the number one spot or move to West London? Let us know in the comments below. Sticking with Chelsea, as it looks like it's only a matter of time until Kai Havertz becomes a blue. According to reports this week, the Bayer Leverkusen youngster has made it very clear he wants to join the Premier League outfit, and the two clubs are in deep talks over a deal. Fabrizio Romano wrote in The Guardian on Monday that Chelsea and Leverkusen are currently at odds over a fee, with the Blues hopeful of getting an agreement over the line for €80 million Euros plus add-ons, while the German club are apparently holding out for €90 million. Euros. But with no other clubs willing to pay anywhere near that for Havertz, and with the 21-year-old keen to leave Leverkusen this summer after they failed to finish in the top four, we'd be incredibly surprised if he doesn't join Chelsea. Of course, this also depends on Frank Lampard's side securing Champions League football themselves. The FA Cup finalists are also being linked with Ajax's Nicolas Tagliafico, who is seen as a cheap alternative to Ben Chilwell, with the left-back available for under £25 million. With the club in need of reinforcements in defence, they could certainly do worse than signing the experienced Argentinian at that price. On the subject of Chelsea, we've got some very exciting news about their match with Liverpool tonight. The match is free to air on Sky Pick in the UK and you can also watch along with your mates using the Sky Sports Fan Zone app on your phone, tablet or computer. You'll be able to post predictions and join in on in-game polls and of course react to Liverpool's much anticipated trophy lift after the game. And even better, if you let us know on Twitter, a member of FD could gatecrash your watch party. If you're keen to batter Joe Tomlinson about the United result on the weekend, you really don't want to miss this opportunity. Details are in the description. Anyway, let's move on. Up to the Etihad now as following their FFP victory last week, Man City are in for yet another big summer of spending. And their first piece of business could be for Bournemouth's Nathan Ake. The Dutch centre-back is on the radar of a number of clubs in recent weeks, with Chelsea and Man United both rumoured to be lining up bids. And with his contract up in 2022, now is the best time for the Cherries to sell. But according to the latest reports, it's City who are in the pole position to sign Ake. But it's also understood that this may not be the club's only centre-back signing this summer, with Kaladu Koulibaly still rumoured to be joining and John Stones and Nicholas Otamendi both facing uncertain futures in Manchester. Meanwhile, Alexis Sanchez could be also making a shock move to City, with the Chilean paper La Coata reporting the club have made an inquiry about the former Arsenal attacker. But with Manchester United apparently valuing Sanchez at £17 million, we reckon a deal is unlikely given the huge wages he also demands. Right now, another year on loan at Inter seems the most feasible outcome. With Mr. Ozil's time at Arsenal all but over, the German midfielder is being strongly linked with a move to Turkey. But while some reports are suggesting Fenerbahce are set to move for the veteran playmaker, he may be more tempted by the offer of Istanbul Basakşehir. 
Having finished runners-up twice in the last three seasons, Basakşehir finally got their hands on the Super League title for the first time on Sunday, winning the Turkish top flight with a team including former Premier League stars like Gael Kalishi, Martin Skirtle and Demba Bar. According to various sources, they are now ready to formalise their interest in Ozil, having been linked with them last summer by Turkish president Recep Tayyip Ardwan, who has strong ties with the club. Ozil, who has Turkish heritage and was eligible to play for the national team before debuting for Germany in 2009, has previously expressed an interest in a move to the Super League outfit, and clearly isn't in Mikel Arteta's plans at the Emirates. After seven years in the Prem, it looks like he will finally be off this summer. Meanwhile, the Gunners are looking to future-proof their forward line by bringing in sporting club wonder kid Jolson Fernandes. The Guinea-Bissau born forward, who represents Portugal at youth level, started training with the sporting first team squad following lockdown and has made three sub appearances in Liga Nos since the start of July. The 17 year old is one of the most highly rated young players in Portugal and given Sporting's historic track record of producing world class wingers, we wouldn't bet against him developing into a top forward. Jolson has a contract with the Lions until 2022, which includes a 45 million euro release clause. And while Barcelona and RB Leipzig have also been linked with him, a report in Portuguese paper Keeper Abola has claimed Arsenal may activate the clause, even suggesting it could be done today. Apparently, the Gunners are keen to fend off any competition for his signature and enjoy a strong relationship with his agent, who is overseeing the deal. However, with the London club on a budget this summer, this rumour seems a little far-fetched. And with Sporting also hoping to extend Jolson's contract until 2025, this media frenzy could be serving as a bargaining chip. But do you see Arsenal splashing big bucks on the teenager? Let us know down below. We finish off at Real Madrid, where following his awkward La Liga winning celebrations with the squad, Gareth Bale could actually be staying this summer. At least, that's what his agent Jonathan Barnett is saying. The Welsh superstar has suffered under Zindine Zidane at the Bernabeu, making just 12 starts in the league this term, and has shown an increasingly apathetic attitude towards his role in the team in recent months. But despite Los Blancos being keen to get him off the payroll this summer, Bale is going nowhere, according to Barnett. The agent's reasoning is that there is simply no club willing to cough up the money needed to take Bale away from the Spanish capital, confirming what many Madrid fans have been fearing in the last year. With his contract not up until 2022, Real fans may have to put up with him sleeping on the bench and playing golf for another two years. So that's all we have time for for this week's Transfer Talk. As we said earlier, if you do see any other rumours, then please send them to me on Twitter, at Zach Shelob, and I'll try to get back to you. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more Football Daily content, then please click on screen right now. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.